What's up everyone? I just want to do a quick little video talking about how permaculture should also help the animals around us. We talk about that a lot, about trying not to use poisons on bugs or pests, whatever you want to call them, or herbicides. I think another great thing to do is you can leave little pots under your plants or even little things of water. And this right here, I used a, just a plastic bin and put some water in it. And now I got a bunch of little froggies coming out. The tadpoles hatched about two weeks ago and they were bigger last time. I'm thinking because of the heat, they turned to frogs quicker without fully developing. But I'm putting them over here by my fox gloves and sages because their first year of life, they pretty much live off aphids and fruit flies. So this is a great spot. And I got an old compost pile right here that should provide you know roly polies and stuff if they need them i'm a little worried we have a lot of alligator lizards that hang out over here but i think it, it should be fine so these guys should help the garden a lot and their numbers are falling uh they're nearly extinct in the bay area i live in sacramento california so in the bay area around san francisco oakland that area there's only one population left due to obviously habitat loss. And if you, you live in Cali, you know, it's just so freaking hot all the time now. We get no rain. So it's gotta make these guys' lives harder. So if you can, try to help them out. Just, you know, you can even use like those little plastic, uh, what would you call it? Where you put it under the pots that collect the water so you wouldn't get, oh, it's like a dish, like a plastic dish for your plant, plant pots, use that. If you put a little bit of water in there, they'll most likely come if they're still there. And hopefully they still are. They're naturally attracted to areas like this with tall grasses. Even, they prefer the green grass. I'm sure they would chill on the uh, dead grass as well. But these are uh, California chorus frogs, California tree frogs, whatever you want to call them. Um, so hopefully they stay in the garden forever and the population keeps growing. Alright, thanks for watching and help the froggies out.